Hi, we're uh, we're gonna start sharing our screen here. Guys, rock. Thank you. No worries. So, so okay. So uh, uh, I'll just briefly introduce you. So. Uh, Regina Mamu and Lara Salman are uh, together known as Research for the Bermuda Triangle. They use scent to investigate nuanced issues. Uh, Regina and Lara will discuss their upcoming project, Common Fantasy, at the Wendy Museum of Cold War in Los Angeles, California. For this project, RBT tinctures various objects from the German Democratic Republic in East Germany to create a scent reminiscent of this era. Common fantasy will come together as both a fragrance and installation at the Wendy. I realize that's not your bio at all. I'm so sorry. I just basically read your talk out to you. So. Oh, that's actually great because we, um, we were going to read our bio from the front and then we're like, this is good. So now you, that was a great segue. Okay, into good. Us, into us telling more of our bio. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um, really quick. I'm just gonna pull I just uh, closed our video window and I just want to be able to see um, that we are still show video panel okay great is that covering the PowerPoint no I, I can see you PowerPoint and you on the side okay cool all right awesome so um, yeah, we're trying to make sure that our, both of our heads are in the screen. So um, I was recently tested for COVID and I am negative. So we, we can be around each other right now. <laughs> uh, so thanks Saskia, thanks Clara. Um, it, it's been an amazing, I've, I've, we've seen all four days and it's just been an incredible experience and really appreciate the IAO and Smell Lab for including us in this um, and they've just been a fount of knowledge in terms of you know technical and conceptual considerations so thank you very much and all the presenters as well which have just completely blown our minds in terms of the ways that we can take uh, scent so with that uh, my name is Regina Mamu and this is my um, collaborative partner Lars Salmon together we are the duo collaborative artistic uh, research for the Bermuda Triangle, and we uh, affectionately call ourselves RBT. So today we will be talking about Common Fantasy, which is a project that was uh, precipitated by the Venda Museum of the Cold War in Los Angeles. Um, I am currently the first artist in residence there, and so we'll be talking about um, the installation, the forthcoming we don't know when it's forthcoming, but installation as well as uh, a sent by mail program that we're launching today. So we'll talk about that. First off, a bit of background to how we started this project. Regina's uh, own artistic practice, which is very much installation based. She's been working with uh, ideas around the Cold War for a long time. And I'm primarily a performance artist, and I've spent a lot of time in Berlin the last few years, um, both for personal reasons and art. And so when the Venda invited us to do a project, we, we started immediately thinking about uh, East Germany and the GDR, and we decided, Regina's gonna talk more about the concept behind this, but we decided that we wanted to create a fragrance that was reminiscent of this bygone era. And so to start doing that, we began asking our friends and our family, both in America and Germany, what were their olfactory memories of East Germany? And what you have on the slide before you are the answers we got along some of the photos. And one thing that kept coming up for me while I was in Berlin asking this question was people said the flooring of buildings in East Germany, and they thought that it was linoleum. And so we decided that we would try to get as many objects as we could, and we would start tincturing them in order to create our GDR reminiscent fragrance. And I was able to get, um, when I was in Berlin in March, I was able to have access to a GDR office building, which is now partially housing artist studios. And I got flooring and curtains and yeah, et cetera. Um, another thing that we started sourcing from Germany was on eBay. We discovered we could order these, I'm sorry for the pronunciation, but Ost packet. 
and it would be a collection of products, either food or cleaning, that was used in East Germany. Yeah, so um, as Lara was mentioning, usually in our practice, um, she's more of a boots on the ground sourcer and uh, she's much more extra diverted than I am. I'm much more of the research behind the scenes, you know, knows in a book kind of person. So um, I started to, while she was sourcing materials, I started to look into the concepts um, related to the GDR, um, specifically this idea called nostalgia, and it was a made up word that came out, I believe, in the early 2000s in Germany, um, of course, after the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, uh, West German products started to take over the market. And so a lot of East Germans um, became very nostalgic for Eastern brands and the Eastern way of life. So they, they, this term was coined to describe this nostalgia for for the East, which was kind of a romanticization of, you know, that, that particular experience. Okay. I'm gonna play this one. So this is, apologies, this is on Instagram, but <laughs> this, so basically once Lara came back uh, from Germany in uh, March, she passed off the materials to me. And then um, I also purchased some materials as well, including, um, you know, vintage East German cigarettes and soaps and things of that nature. Um, and essentially, uh, based off of a class that we took at the IAO with Tim, which was fantastic on tincturing, um, we, it was incredibly helpful. And so we decided that the best method would actually be to tincture these particular materials. So that's what I started to do from my home was to go through the process of figuring out which things would be best for tincturing um, and using al an alcohol tincturing, as you can see with the, the glass um, set up in the background. And so uh, essentially what we're doing right now is coming up with a number, uh, as many as we can, probably up to 15 different materials that we're going to um, tincture and then eventually combine um, together into one particular fragrance that we're actually going to um, pass on to friends and family members that uh, were either spent time in East Germany or were, were born in East Germany. For testing. We're going to get their feedback For before testing. we release it. So the one thing that I wanted to bring up briefly is um, how this project initially started. And it was actually um, as I mentioned, I'm the artist in residence at the Venda Museum. And if you haven't visited um, when it opens, obviously, because it's not open now, it's a great museum to see their uh, a fantastic collection, over 100,000 objects and artifacts from, uh, from the GDR and the USSR in general. And one of the things that um, we were uh, given this space, essentially, which is uh, this ADN guardhouse. It was a guardhouse in front of a news agency in East Germany, one of the only news agencies. Um, and actually a, a secret service um, officer, Stasi officer would guard, would be the guard inside the, the little booth here. So there was an artist, uh, I believe about seven or eight years ago that decided to rescue this structure um, to save it from being uh, demolished. And he essentially, brought this to the States and it became a permanent fixture at the Venda's location in 2017. So uh, we, were, we were asked to create an installation for this. And so we wanted to do a scent-based installation. But the interesting part about this, and we love working within restrictions, is that you can't actually enter the guardhouse. It can only be seen from the outside. So our idea was to present the tincture setup or the apparatus, which I think is a great way of describing also the apparatus of government um, in the GDR. And people would be able to see that, but what would be disseminated, how the scent would be disseminated is around the perimeter of the guardhouse. So it creates this kind of boundary between, um, between the viewer or the, the, the audience member and the actual material and um, mechanism for distillation. In the meantime, today we are going to launch our Sent by Mail program. And so if you visit our website, um, the RBT website, you can sign up 
And once we develop our fragrance uh, of the common fantasy, our fragrance of the GDR, we are going to be sending individual vials out to people. Um, both, and we, we we're figuring out how we can do it overseas as well. And the, the to sign up is free. Um, the, we're giving out the scent for free. And if you are interested in making a donation, we're going to send all proceeds to the Okra Project, which is a group, which is um, a group in America that is basically you should go to their website to learn more, but they're benefiting black trans people in America. So, um, so yeah, so I'll basically, it's available to sign up now. We just launched it and uh, the links, we have all the links here. Um, so RBT sent by mail, you can see it's just our website with obviously the sent by mail URL, um, our Instagram, our email, and then of course the Venda, we have to thank them as well for all of their um, encouragement and support and um, and yeah we'd love we also love to connect to people with people about future projects collab so yeah give us give us a shout out appreciate it thank you so much thank you Regina and Lara from the other side of town I think <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> we have the same sunshine exactly. um, cool a couple quick comments Donna says that she was in Berlin in December 1989 oh wow and visited the East and remembered remarking how much pollution smog there was. The air was dirty and gray, uh, remarkable as the West was only a train station away. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, and so, so um, oh, and Kurt actually is wondering about, uh, do you need to check for asbestos and, and the sort of vintage uh, tiles that you're working with, or are you just trusting that? You know, I, I'd say that we are a little <laughs> bit, because we're coming from an art, artist perspective, I think we're, we're kind of a little bit like okay with just feeling yeah, things. But think about people. Ava Hesse, man, don't yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I, I mean, we, we haven't fully sorted that out, but it's... Maybe, maybe it's something to consider. It, it's definitely yeah, something. Yeah, I'd say consider. We're gonna, we will, thank you for bringing that to our attention. <laughs> I'm like, eh, who cares? She's like, <laughs> no, 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 you take care of your body. We'll figure it out, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, uh, old factory community, we will figure it out. So, thank you. Before you get your free vials, yeah, no asbestos. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, well, that, that makes me feel better for you. Yeah. Um, well, cool, thank you so much for participating and for talking, so and uh, your work is always super interesting, so if you guys want to check out their website, it's, it's definitely worth, worth, a, worth a meander, um, and, a, and a, I don't know what a synonym for meander is, so check it out. Great, thank right, you so um, much. Oh, what? Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Now, if you don't mind, you'll stop share screen, and then I'll, I'll bring you down to the audience, and we'll close yeah. out our day with Mr. Kaya, who is already on. Yeah on screen here almost. Um, okay, cool.